season in the middle of the way people got overwhelmed with trying to have more money or achieve more things in the world and start forgetting about trying to understand what is this uh, worth for us. Prayer is a must for me because it is the time when I can ponder and meditate on, on my life, on the things that I want to change, on the challenges I'm going through, um, how I can be useful in, in this world. So it's a huge priority for me in my life. Daily part of your life, having a time for religion. And it's not something once a week or whatever, a daily take time out of your day, not to just meditate, like sit down and go, um, but like to let the world make noise for you without having to fill it with your own thoughts. But it gives me this kind of stress relief that I can't really get anywhere else. For me, you say that I have to start my day praying and uh, studying a little bit, that whatever you read in the Bible uh, changes the whole day. You become more positive, you become more confident, in, in a matter of hours, you're being used in that some way. You think of God and then you kind of know like what to strive through during the day, so it kind of helps you open up. I definitely don't pray as much as I should for Friday night services. I love just sitting and knowing all of the Hebrew words and knowing the songs and everyone is singing around me. It's just a huge, once again, a communal feeling. This, and everyone's participating together. I, I like it, it's cool. I'm actually more happy when the sun is out than when it's raining or cloudy. Just by walk, going for a bike ride or walking the nature, that for me the best meditation. We are more closer to the planet Earth than anybody else. I think if we can wake up each day, be grateful and choose to be happy with it. And in my case, pray, I think that we can, you know, you can find a greater happiness and greater peace in the world. And I found that being grateful for that. I really believe that spending time, like we read in the Bible, like in Matthew 6, like taking your time alone, you and God, it's the time that I'm connecting, like a cell phone plugging in the energy. It's the time that I plug with God, it's the time that I'm alone talking with Him. We all have these crazy lives. We're all still curious, questioning. We're all, you know, sure or not sure, happy, not so happy. We're all here together. We're all experiencing whatever this mess we call life is.